ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. on the weather extreme video. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with you from Troy, Alabama this morning. And it sure is sunny in Troy. And as we look out over the Skycam network, it's sunny in Clanton as well. But we can see to the southwest, we can see some clouds. And the same is true for Demopolis. Looks like the river is very calm and the sky is sunny. But we can see some high clouds off to the southwest. And uh, a little bit lower clouds down along Gulf Shores, although we're looking west. The Gulf Shores view is sunny, as you can see from the sunshine on that tall condo down there. We're developing a trough in the eastern part of the country. Right now it's uh, up over the north central part of the United States, but it's going to be uh, digging into the eastern half of the country, bringing winter back to the southeastern U.S., I'm afraid. And we uh, can see the cold front is expected to move through here Tomorrow, it's uh, in the central part of the United States on our surface chart for this morning as surface high pressure moves off into the Atlantic. Temperatures aren't too bad this morning. Uh, you can still see some very cold temperatures across Canada, but for the most part, uh, it is not too bad across the United States. I noted Chicago only had 24 hours above freezing last month. That's an amazing record. Temperatures across central Alabama vary quite a bit from that 40 at Birmingham for the one of the warmest spots to uh, 29, uh, 25 at Gadsden and 29 at Anniston. So we're generally around the freezing mark for the most part, most part but I think that we will recover very nicely. QPF uh, pretty much tells the story with the development of a surface low in the Gulf and moving up the East Coast. It looks like uh, the heaviest amount of precipitation is going to occur off uh, shore, and uh, that is probably good news for a lot of people because, of course, earlier models were indicating the possibility of that surface low moving right up the coastline, and that would have made a real mess. Okay, here we are at the GFS 06C GFS model run this morning, and here is the surface high moving off into the Atlantic, and you can see moisture increasing uh, uh, around that flow off to our west, and here comes our digging trough, the trough digging into the central part of the United States, into the Ohio River Valley and the Mid-Mississippi River Valley. By Monday, you can see uh, with the thickness values uh, kind of defining what's going on here, you can see the cold air coming in, but the precipitation is ending. And this is fairly typical for the southeastern U.S., but we can see a low uh, in the Gulf, uh, generally off of Tampa there on the surface map. The trough continues to dig in, and uh, I think one of the things that's happened here is that the trough has uh, dug in just a little bit further east, and that certainly makes a big difference in the overall forecast. So now the surface low is moving up the uh, mid-Atlantic uh, coast, but it appears that it's kind of like a double-barreled low and uh, not nearly as strong as what some earlier forecasts were indicating. So I think what we're going to see is we're going to see uh, the possibility that we might see a little bit of light snow or, or snow flurries primarily as the precipitation ends Monday afternoon or Monday evening, but I wouldn't even think there would be any risk of any accumulation. And then you can see that little blob of moisture over uh, Tennessee and Kentucky. Uh, the way the GFS is painting that, it looks like probably our chances for any snow flurries on Tuesday afternoon are probably pretty slim. But as that little uh, patch of moisture comes through and the air is very cold, we might see some. By Wednesday, of course, it is very cold. You can see the thickness lines running uh, that 540 line, using that as a ref reference, all the way down to Pensacola. And uh, looks like down south of Gainesville, maybe even approaching Orlando there. Uh, so very, very cold. By uh, Thursday, our uh, sharp eastern U.S. trough is now out in the Atlantic, and we're beginning to come under a little bit more of a ridge, but it is still northwesterly flow, so we're still going to be cold, but we're going to begin to recover. I think by Thursday, we'll be back to something a little more seasonable with highs in the mid-50s or so. Uh, we come under a ridge by Friday, and that means that we should be recovered very nicely and perhaps even pushing 60 degrees for those highs, but we stay dry. Uh, the GFS is now indicating a split flow with a good trough across the northern tier of the United States and another uh, closed low being held back over Southern California. And uh, what that means is that uh, we're generally going to be under a ridge, so that means the front will approach but have a hard time getting in here because of the upper flow as the big trough moves off to the east across the northern tier of the United States and that 
close low hangs back on Sunday, and so the front hangs up, uh, and according to the GFS, at least right now, hangs up to our north. We'll, of course, be watching that to make sure that that's uh, what happens. All right, let's go out into voodoo land, and it looks like... Uh, Around the 11th of February, we'll get another system with a pretty strong trough, and that should be uh, fairly wet, and also uh, maybe even quite a uh, storm system for, uh, once again, the Great Lakes, not that those people need any more snow up there. Uh, a ridge pattern by the end of the period, around the 16th of February, and uh, that, uh, of course, indicates any fronts are going to have a hard time getting down uh, into the Gulf Coast area, but exactly where? Uh, this is voodoo. We're not going to try to define that that well. That'll do it for this uh, storm alert. Uh, pardon me, this uh, weather extreme video. Certainly appreciate you uh, tuning in. Hope that you have a great upcoming week. Godspeed.